Have you ever wondered what causes water pollution? Well, you're at the right video. In this video, we'll discuss the various causes of water pollution and the types of pollutants that cause water pollution. Now, all the pollutants can be classified into three types. We've got biological pollutants, organic pollutants, and inorganic pollutants. Biological pollutants are basically dead and living organisms. They could be very tiny organisms like algae, viruses, parasites, or even larger remains of dead plants and animals. Organic pollutants are organic compounds that are made of elements like hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, and these are found in pesticides and fertilizers. Industrial effluent is also a source of organic compounds, which cause pollution. Inorganic pollutants are things like dust, soil, could be heavy metals like arsenic and lead, or even radioactive waste. Now let's divide all the causes of pollution into two types. We've got man-made causes of pollution and natural causes of pollution. I'll list out all the man-made causes of pollution that we're going to discuss and we'll discuss each of them and then go ahead with the natural causes of pollution. Domestic sewage is a nuisance in our country. A large amount of waste water from our homes and offices is dumped into water bodies like rivers, lakes and ponds, and even the sea. And that carries biological pollutants like viruses, bacteria, parasites, and these can cause diseases like cholera and jaundice. Another cause of man-made pollution that's very closely linked is domestic waste being dumped into water bodies. One of the biggest problems is plastics being dumped into water bodies. Plastics are non-biodegradable and so they just stay in the water for years, decades, centuries. Plastics can choke drainage systems. Plastics can also be very harmful for aquatic life because they release toxins into the water. Next, let me show you a short video. I hope you haven't seen anything like this outside of a bucket of soap water. Sadly, this is not a bucket of soap water, but the result of industrial waste being dumped into a lake. This is a pollutant from an industry which has formed a foamy layer on top of the lake water. Now, this foamy layer can even catch fire and cause further pollution by polluting the air. Anyway, industrial waste can have a lot of different types of pollutants. We can have inorganic pollutants like arsenic, lead and mercury or organic pollutants that come from industries like the dyeing and the tanning industry or the food industry and microplastics that come from various industries. Next, let's discuss what oil spills are. Oil spills are organic pollutants. Oil spills occur primarily when crude oil from ships gets spilt into the sea, maybe because the ship breaks down or some leakage develops. Crude oil spills can cause a lot of harm to wildlife. Let me explain how. Let's say this is a water body and the oil that is spilt into the water forms a layer on top of the water. Now this happens because oil is generally less dense than water and so it's flo it floats on top of water. This thick layer of oil on top of water can block sunlight from ent entering water, can block oxygen from entering water and cause a lot of harm to the aquatic life in the water body. Let me show you a picture of a bird. This bird is covered in crude oil and because of that it can't fly or even walk properly. The crude oil is sticky and cause, causes a lot of issue for the bird. Okay, now let's move on to fertilizers and pesticides. While fertilizers and pesticides are useful on farmland, sometimes when these fertilizers and pesticides enter water bodies like the water table under the ground or when it runs off into, you know, lakes, ponds, rivers, seas, it can cause a lot of issues. Now, this stuff is organic pollutants. It causes nutrient imbalances in water bodies. It could even enter the food chain. For example, if a small animal or a small, uh, let's say a small uh, fish here maybe, consumes a little bit of water that contains fertilizers and pesticides. Those fertilizers and pesticides would be inside the body of these small organisms. And when larger organisms eat these small organisms, those pollutants would enter the large organisms and then it would go further down the food chain. And if humans eat these fishes, they too would get contaminated by these fertilizers and pesticides. Okay, now let's discuss the last cause of man-made pollution, that is radioactive waste. Radioactive waste is an inorganic pollutant. The thing is that it causes an instant contamination of the entire water body. Let's say a barrel of radioactive waste which is leaking is dumped into the water. 
immediately the entire water body is contaminated and even the region next to the water body is contaminated. There are certain lakes in Ukraine where there was a nuclear uh, disaster where even if you stood for half an hour next to the lake, you would die because of radioactive waste in the lake. It's that serious. Okay, now we're done with all the man-made causes of pollution. Now let's move to the natural causes of pollution. Here is the list that we're going to discuss. Let's dive in. Aquatic weeds, when they grow in excess, become biological pollutants, causing an ecological imbalance in nature. Let me go to the next type of natural pollution, next cause of natural pollution, that is decomposing matter in water bodies. This is a biological pollutant. This pollutant contains bacteria, fungi, and contamination of water can cause a host of diseases. Next, let's discuss an inorganic pollutant, mud or sludge in water. Mud or sludge can cause a lot of damage to fish and other aquatic organisms because you cannot have an ecological balance when there is a large amount of mud and dust in the water. Next, let's discuss soil erosion. Often what happens is when streams flow down a slope or streams flow at high velocity, they carry along minerals along with them and that goes and settles in water bodies. And so soil erosion can also cause pollution. Soil erosion causes pollution by spreading inorganic pollutants, primarily things like mud, soil, minerals uh, are pushed into the water. Organic pollutants also can be introduced due to soil erosion. If there's a pathogen in the mud, in the soil, that can also get pulled into the water. Pesticides can get pulled into the water. Fertilizers can get pulled into the water, polluting the water. Okay, let's move to our next cause of natural pollution. That's basically microbes like fungi and bacteria. These are biological pollutants and they cause diseases in humans. They cause diseases in fish and other aquatic life as well. Let's move to our last cause of natural, natural cause of pollution. That's algae. Algae is a biological pollutant. It is caused by nutrient runoff. Let me explain what that is. When fertilizers run off into water, they cause the blooming of certain types of algae in a very excessive manner. And these algae release toxins into the water. And when there's a large amount of algae in a particular region, the amount of toxins are high and that causes harm to fish, causes harm to animals. And if humans consume these fish, it causes harm to humans as well. Okay, so I'll put up a large overview of all the different man-made and natural types of pollution and I've color coded them so that you can easily recognize which ones could be biological, organic or inorganic pollutants. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.